So let's look at um, how we might add even numbers together. And so if you look at this picture here, how would you count these? So we could count them one at a time. Or we could also count them... Let me just get a pencil. Let's look at how we could count these. So we could count them one at a time, one, two, three, four, five, etc. Well, what's a quicker way? Here, well, here it's two this way, and it's five that way. And so we know that this even number is two times five. And so all of a sudden we start to see something that we can write an even number as two times some other number. Let's just have a look. What happens, We just by looking at this straight away, we can tell that this number is even. It's two times, and we could count these individually, but we could say it's two times some number n. And so that even number there, we could write it as two times n. And I know that in algebra, we'll often just write that as two n. So an even number is of the form two times some number. If we look at the addition then of two even numbers, here we've got two times three, and here we've got two times two. So we could write each of those even numbers out. We've got two times three plus two times two. Now notice that we could calculate two threes as six, and two times two is four, and add the six and four and get ten. But what we could do is just go back and push these two on top of those. Let's go back to this slide. We could push these ones here back into these and get 2 times 5. So notice what we're doing here. We're really saying that that is equal to 2 times 5. But where did we get the 5 from? That's 2 times 3 plus 2. And so you can start to see the algebra coming out here. Notice what we're really doing is taking 2 out as a common factor here and we're, we're getting the 3 plus 2. 2 times 3 plus 2. Can you see that even without calculating that number there, which we know is 10, can you see it's an even number? Because it's 2, it's the number 2 times something else. And it's that number out the front which indicates that it's an even number. So what about if we look at this? 2 times n, and here's 2 times some other number, m. They're both even numbers. You can see that directly from, from there. So we could say it's the total number is 2n plus 2m. Taking 2 out as a common factor, 2 outside of n plus m. Notice the 2 outside the front. Can you see that that's an even number? The sum of two even numbers is an even number.